everybody welcome to my channel recently k michelle got into a little bit of a scuffle with lonnie love from the real now i'm going to tell you how this occurred earlier this week radio personality angela Yee was a guest co-host on the real and she talked about some of the craziest celebrity moments on her popular radio show called The Breakfast Club. So Lonnie Love decided to bring up the argument that Angela Yee had with K. Michelle. Uh, what's the singer's name? Is she started going off? Keisha Cole? No, it wasn't Keisha Cole. Who was it? <laughs> it was K. Michelle. K. It Michelle, K. that's Michelle. who was. It was okay. surprising. If you don't know what happened, last year K. Michelle went on The Breakfast Club and she attacked Angela Yee because Angela Yee brought her name up in an interview that she did with two rappers named Uncle Murda and Mayno. And Mayno supposedly had relations with um, K. Michelle. And his friend Uncle Murda exposed some intimate details about their relationship. Hold on, you did say something about K. Michelle. Oh! Whoa. She got this thing. I call oh. it the K. Michelle. <laughs> So K. Michelle went on The Breakfast Club and she attacked Angela Yee for bringing her name up in that interview so they could talk about her. And she was very upset. You brought it up, you sat there and chuckled, you did that, and you don't know what that might have done to me. If I so obviously the whole K. Michelle and Angela Yee situation was a sore spot for K. Michelle and Lonnie Love brought it back up. Now, Lonnie knows that she was shady for that, but that's all that happened. They didn't talk bad about K. Michelle. They just discussed how crazy that situation was, and that was a love and hip hop moment. However, K. Michelle didn't like it too much, and K. Michelle went after Lonnie Love on Twitter. She said this to Lonnie, you should shut your heavy neck blank up. Play with me, Lonnie Love. You're not funny. The only thing funny about you is your struggle blank face, ham hawk. Lonnie Love replied back and said, come on the real and say it, girl. Now don't you try to Wendy Williams first. Mm. Kmart was like, I'm not coming on no dry blank reel to sit there and be fake with a bunch of frauds. She also said this, roast beef, you didn't talk this much when you got Tamar fired. Now, I don't know why K. Michelle is bringing up Tamar. Tamar doesn't even like K. Michelle. In fact, Tamar said that K. Michelle couldn't say her name. So why is she bringing her name up now? Anyway, now this is what Lonnie said. Now, you know that is not true. And since she's gone, you can now come on the real. Boop! You better hit her with it, Lonnie. <laughs> And K. Michelle said, how about this? You keep my whole name out your mouth and stay over there on Sesame Street because this ain't what you want, hamburger. Now, why is she telling her to keep her name out of her mouth when she's the one who started this and added Lonnie first? Just ridiculousness. Lonnie replied back and said, I think you're scared. And she also said, come on, K. Michelle, we could get this trending. Hashtag the real, hashtag ham hock net, hashtag roast beef net, Hashtag Lonnie Love on the ropes. <laughs> Lonnie Love is too dumb. Anyway, this whole thing was just unnecessary. And of course, K. Michelle couldn't help but to blow it up into something big. And it's, it's just pointless. And I think threatening Lonnie Love and calling her names and all types of insults the way that she did to Tamar kind of shows her pettiness and her hatefulness. Lonnie never said anything bad about K. Michelle at all. So the fact that K. Michelle is attacking her is just ridiculous. I mean, really? You're going to attack Lonnie out of all people? Lonnie is funny. She's goofy. She's just lighthearted. Why attack her? And first of all, don't get it twisted. Lonnie Love is from Detroit. And you're talking about trying to fight her and threaten her. Girl, bye. Go sit down somewhere. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.